prepare for the health nugget, we'll, off, we'll offer up a word of prayer. <clears throat> Let us pray. <clears throat> o most kind, beloved Heavenly Father, we are condoning thy grace of throne of grace this morning. Our desire, Lord, is that we would hear your still small voice, Lord. We are mere mortals. We are human in flesh, and Lord, and we need a word from on high. So, Lord, we ask that you forgive us for our sins, our transgressions, and iniquity. Cleanse us, O oh Lord, as you're cleansing the heavenly sanctuary, Lord. Our oh Lord, we want to be prepared to meet you in peace, and we want to experience uh, health and live it more fully. So, Lord, we ask that you would bless us through your word and through what is shared today, uh, that we would be encouraged uh, through this message and that our hearts would be, um, would be drawn closer to Thee, closer to one another, Lord. And that may, uh, may grace and mercy uh, be imparted in sweet love in the message. In Jesus' name we pray. Each one should have a copy of the health nugget and this, um, the topic today that we will be speaking on is aluminum and Alzheimer's disease. Um, it is believed by many that Alzheimer's disease is caused by aluminum poisoning. Aluminum was little used until the 1940s when an inexpensive method was found to extract it from bauxite by running an electric current through ore. Since then, Alzheimer's disease has rapidly increased. The brains of Alzheimer's patients have 10 to 50 times as much aluminum as those of normal people. An excess of either aluminum or silicon in the body results in reduced absorption of calcium and other minerals. Um, aluminum salts in the brain produce impaired mental abilities and seizures. The autopsied uh, bodies, the autopsied brains, rather, of Alzheimer's patients had four times as much aluminum as did those of other people. Aluminum also damages the kidneys, which try to excrete it from the body. There is so much aluminum in our daily environment that the average person absorbs 3 to 10 milligrams of it every day. It is primarily absorbed in food and drink, but also in breathing and through the skin. Aluminum absorbed through the skin. Well, antiperspirants that contain aluminum, deodorants that contain aluminum, uh, when used are absorbed under the armpits through the skin into your lymph nodes and also, and also and so are introduced into the bloodstream poisoning the blood as it flows to the kidneys and the brain causing mental disorders. Aluminum lawn chairs, aluminum foil and many and may, many toys contain aluminum so we are, we're counseling parents to read you know on each of us individuals they need to read labels and to see if there's anything that, you know, that we are purchasing that has aluminum products in it. Um, aluminum is absorbed in food eaten. Aluminum from aluminum pots or aluminum foil pans and other cookware containing aluminum. Um, some utensils, I say people go camping, there are some utensils that they use for camping that also um, has aluminum in it. So we and there's also, we have to be careful, even in buying, uh, you know, aluminum is also in bleach flour. Mm -hmm. And regular table salt contains aluminum. Um, processed dairy cheese, cream of tartar, uh, douches, canned goods, aluminum and baking powder, antacids and buffered aspirins, and also in the, the tap water that we run through the tap, also has aluminum. So we want to be careful um, to absorb these things and, you know, what we would recommend, you know, to choose um, to drink spring water or distilled water. 
and also um, we want to make safe, safe choices. Our safest options are corningware, glass, and stainless steel. So we want to recommend for us to make, make those changes. Um, the counsel that we have been given, oh, one other thing, we, if, if you want to find out if you have aluminum in the body, you can get a hair analysis that determine the level of aluminum in our bodies. Now, we have been given some counsel um, in 2 Timothy 1.7, for God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. Um, the next scripture is in Acts 17.11. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind, and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. In the book of um, Luke 12, 29, and seek ye not what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of a doubtful mind. And also in 2 Corinthians 8, 12, for if there be a first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man had, not according that he had not. The last scripture I'll share is coming from the book of Romans. Romans chapter 1, verse 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak of the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the, in the same mind and in the same judgment. And that will, um, that will end the health nugget. And I, I do have one other um, thing to... We will be having a plant-based cooking class coming up. This will be um, in the time of Thanksgiving. It will be in the Yale Hall, which is the hall right across where we eat. Um, that will be on November the 7th, 2021. The time for this, um, there will be also remedies, um, demonstrations of natural remedies being presented there. Again, the date is November the 7th, 2021. It will be at the Yale Hall, which is the 690 East Orange Grove Boulevard, the hall that's right directly across. The time is 1 to 3.30 p.m. Again, write down the time. It's 1 to 3.30 p.m. And I'd like to close with a word of prayer.